This week, scientists in Sweden celebrated one of their own. Anders Celsius would have turned 318 years old yesterday. That's 604 in Fahrenheit. <laughs> so we thought that we would take this chance to answer a good question you've been asking Heather Brown for years. Why does the U.S. measure temperature in Fahrenheit? So what do you think the temperature is right now? Gosh, it's really nice. 48 degrees. 48 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. What is it in Celsius? <laughs> oh, I couldn't tell you. Do you know? I do. Siri, what's the temperature in Celsius? It's currently 9 degrees Celsius. So that's because you cheated. I did. I looked on my interview, phone. Right? See, see, this is a not a fair test. We are the only country in the world, besides Belize, the Bahamas, and the Caymans, to officially use Fahrenheit. It's something Don Hilger, I'm the current president of the U.S. Metric Association, wants to change. Do you ever get frustrated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're if they would have taught it in school early on, I could have maybe used it more. It's really up to Congress. It's a weights and measures are a, a part of Congress purview. The Fahrenheit scale, named after an Amsterdam physicist, was invented in 1724. Historians think Daniel Fahrenheit set zero as the coldest temperature he could create in a lab and 96 as the body's temperature. 32 as freezing just fell in between. England and its colonies adopted it. If someone were to tell me nine, I would be like, what? I don't... <laughs> I'm not going outside ever. <laughs> a few years later, Anders Celsius set zero for freezing, 100 for boiling, and the French included it as part of the metric system. It took hundreds of years, but eventually, almost, everyone followed along. 5,280 feet per mile. I mean, where'd that great number come from? And, you know, I, why, why not? tens and hundreds and thousands and things like that. It just makes so much more sense. In 1975, Congress passed the metric conversion law, but it was voluntary. We're uncomfortable as, with change as Americans. And it was dissolved seven years later. So now we have to convert. Here's the equation if you'd like to know. Well, now you know nine is a beautiful oh, sunny day. Beautiful. I'll remember that. Heather Brown. Yep. Good day for walking. WCCO 4 News. Hmm. I, it I was remember, a beautiful day today. It was. Yes. I remember when they passed that law and people flipped out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Um, yeah. It's like that one guy said, I don't think we want to change and we like the system. It's the same if you, you know, go kilometers versus miles. Mm -hmm. You know, that argument's been going on forever. Well, yeah, well, you're, so. you're a scientist. You use yeah. it more than we do, and I know you prefer the other system. Yeah, totally. I, yeah, I'm comfortable with whichever, but it does sound warmer to use a Fahrenheit. So it let's does. Go with it that. Let's go yeah, with that. Especially, especially in these parts. Here in Minnesota, we like that.